welcome to the Minecraft Short Stories Podcast. If you've been here before, welcome back. In this episode, I found some spooky Minecraft stories. These stories are called Creepypastas, from the Minecraft Creepypasta Wiki. Links below. A creepypasta is like an urban legend. Think Entity 303 and Hero Ryan. These are Minecraft Creepypastas, so they aren't really scary, but if you don't do well with spooky things, this episode probably is not for you. I will credit the authors when I can, and if you want to read these for yourself, the links are down below. But before all that, in an upcoming episode, I'm going to read and answer some of your Minecraft related questions. So if you want your questions answered, send them to my email address. Grab a soda or some popcorn, and let's get right into the stories. The next story is written by Talianic. I'm sorry if I did not pronounce your name right, but this is the story of Giant Alex. Giant Alex is a 12 block tall creature with a bloodied Alex skin. The whole game, the creature will simply watch you from the fog, rarely doing other unexplored actions. When she moves, she leaves her behind footprints in the form of pits of 3x2x2 two two blocks. It is not recommended to get too close to Alex. In many cases, this will cause the game to crash. To find Giant Alex, you need to select version Optifine 1.12.2. It's a difficulty to peaceful, 6 chunk surrender, and 0.2 fog distance. Then when you spawn, swim to the mainland, because this is where the creature lives. It appears in all biomes, but most often in swamps and forests. You may not notice it the first time, because at first, it will always be somewhere in the viewing angle. The first person who found out was an unknown player. The whole story is unknown. We only have two screenshots from him. The first shows Giant Alex herself standing among the trees in the swamp. On the second, we can see that she is taller than the player's house, which is five blocks high. He translated the phrase, Death Steve, to a decimal code for fun, and used it as a seed. Now that's how we found Giant Alex. In addition to the screenshots, he also sent me an email asking me to play on the seed, and make sure that really does exist. Having received the letter, having studied the material a little, I turned on the record and moved in search of this Giant Alex. At first I thought it was kind of crazy, like, seriously? How can some mysterious character 12 block stall exist in Minecraft? And this is not a replaced texture of a giant zombie, and not a mod. In general, I doubt it, because before starting the search, I searched a little on the internet in search of information about Giant Alex, and I did not find a word about her on any creepypasta site or forum. I had only the words of that anonymous person, which I did not believe the first time, of course. After doing everything according to the instructions, sitting at Minecraft and creating a world, I spawned on a little island. Having to obtain the first and necessary resources, I made tools and a boat to sail to the mainland. Having landed on the mainland, I climbed the trees, because I was in a dark oak forest. I began to look for a place for my home, and along the way, mined all sorts of useful resources. Coming out of the cave in which I was digging ore, I decided to not build this house and just move to look for Alex, but something confused me, namely, that the evening somehow quickly came. Although I swear that five minutes ago it was only noon. Okay, but maybe I just didn't notice how the time flew by so fast. It's been 30 minutes with no success. It already began to seem to me that, that the anonymous person had decided to play a joke on me. But I decided to play a little more. Maybe a certain period had not passed. But because of this deadly silence, it seemed to me that she is stalking me. I simply did not know, sir. This is still her standard behavior. But then, I suddenly find a hole, then another, and another. They were three by two by two in size. Did her sign start to appear? Does this mean it really exists? I decided to follow these footprints, but I came across a cave with oars. Entering the cave and walking around a bit, I heard a strange distorted sounds of grass destruction or something. That is, she walked right over me. Moreover, the sounds of walking were not displayed in the subtitles. After leaving the cave, I walked a little more along the surface, noticed one tree without leaves, and left the game. When viewing the recording, somewhere at the end, in the corner of the screen, I saw it. Yes, she stood and watched me. The next story is by an unknown user. This is the story of Billy. If you decide to read this, then know that no one knows how this something came to be. Is it a player, or is it some kind of mystical mob that exists in the Minecraft universe? There are people who have seen it, but the stories about it are different. 
Someone said it was a player. Someone claimed it was a mob. We don't have a clear picture of him, and he may not be the only one. First Encounter A couple of days ago, a friend and I were walking around the world, looking for an abandoned mine. We wanted to find a couple of records, especially the 13 record. Suddenly, I noticed a small hole in the ground. It turned out to be a descent into the cave. We started to go down. We met monsters along the way, but we had a pretty good equipment. So zombies, spiders, or skeletons were no threat to us. Going down to the level about 15, in the distance I saw a long tunnel and a small light that came from its steps. This is what we spent a lot of time for. In total, we were in the mine for about 20 minutes. Fortunately, we could find no records. Disappointed, we went to find a way out of this place. When I turned the corner, in the distance of the tunnel, I saw a sign. Initially, I thought that what it seems to me, but it was not there. Going to the sign, I ran the inscription, Hello, my name is Billy, let's be friends. I thought it was funny, because I was sure that Aaron, my friend, had left the sign. He just joked with me when I asked him this. He did not answer, as it turned out. I lost the internet on my computer, but I was still on the server, although I was not the host. Back in the game, I ran to look for a way out. Good, I found it. I checked the list of players, but there was no one else on the server except me. I felt uneasy. When I went upstairs, I was horrified. In the distance, on a small hill, there was a strange figure. It had completely white skin except for a terribly smiling face. The strange creature rolled in chat. Billy. Hi, my name's Billy. Billy. Let's be friends. Most of the times, he stalks you from long distances and hides in the corners of your screen. However, you could have a bad day. This bad day would mean that Billy has decided to have enough and say, We will be friends over and over again and kills you. He will crash your game, and you will be likely to never see him again. His true intent is unknown, but all he does is strike you whenever he is bored. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure to send me an email by ways of the email address right inside the description. Make sure to give this podcast a 5-star review, and tell your friends about it. See you guys inside the next episode. The first story is by an unknown user. This story happened about two years ago, and I decided to write up a story about the whole experience. So my friend and I decided to play together on the server that I had created, so we did just that. Beforehand, I had changed the game mode to zero, because we wanted to do a full-on survival world. So I made up the world, and we began playing. Considering this was a year ago, I don't remember what state I put in, but whatever it was, it included a village right near the spawn area. But anyway, back to the story. It was a pretty normal gameplay that we had. Get wood, craft things, get stone, furnace, build a house, etc. But it was at one point when we were walking to the house because it was getting dark. But the time suddenly changed today. My friend thought I was messing with code and stuff like that. But I assured him. I didn't even get out of my microphone window at any point or time. I checked the locks to see who I did it because I was the only administrator. And this is what I saw. Villar has changed the time to 10,000, or something like that. I was shaken, and I told my friend what I had seen. He still wasn't buying it. I was just trying to figure out who in the world Villar was. It was only me and my friend in that game, so there was no possible way that another player could be in that game. Then it hit me. If it wasn't a player, it was another entity. I quickly told my friend my thoughts, and he agreed, so I typed in chat, Who was Villar? Not expecting an answer, I continued to keep playing. But then out of nowhere, another message pops up. Villar. Villar just said a ton of random words. This sent chill down my spine. I was officially scared and confused. I assumed he was talking Swedish, because he rhymes stuff. So I translated from English to Swedish. It didn't work. But something popped up under the translator, which said, Translate from Bulgarian. At this point, I was curious, so I clicked on it. And this is what it said. Do you have a drink? Now, that sounded really weird. Why would an entity be asking if I had a drink? So I asked, why would I have a drink? And then Villar responded in under two seconds. Villar. F, a fac? So again, I translated it from Bulgarian to English, and it didn't work. So at this point, I knew he probably wasn't speaking Swedish, English, or Bulgarian. My friend asked him, what language are you speaking? I thought that was a really reasonable question to ask. Then, again, Villar responds in under two seconds. Villar three letters back. I thought, three letters back? Then I started to translate the text you wrote before. Just as I was doing so, the chat comes up with, Villar teleported Dogdoo2005 to Villar. 
He had teleported my friend to him. My friend suddenly started rapidly messaging me saying, Dude, dude, Valar is a villager. He looks like a villager, but with white peoples and black eyes. He's in one of those houses in the village. Ah! Then I looked back on my macro screen and saw this in the chat. Valar has banned Dogdo2005 from the game. Dogdo2005 has left the game. Then Valar teleported me to him and I saw him. I couldn't move my player. I was stuck in one position, staring at the entity. Then my screen went black and then blue. Then finally ending on the micro screen, it had crashed my game. I went to save so I could delete the world, but it was already erased from the saves folder. I haven't seen the entity since.